Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Chegg Tutors, and I usually tutor in English, math, and psychology. So today we're going to be talking about the conditioned and unconditioned response. So conditioned and unconditioned responses are basically how we behave when we come across specific stimuli. So let's take unconditioned first. An unconditioned response is a behavior that occurs naturally due to a given stimulus. So if you take an example, if there is food in front of you and you smell the dish, the feeling of hunger in your stomach in response to the smell is the unconditioned response. The conditioned response, on the other hand, is a little bit different. So it is the learned response to the previously neutral stimulus. So if you take the previous example with the smell of food, you smell the food and at the same time a bell rings. Repeat this enough times and you'll feel hungry every time you hear the sound of the bell alone. This is the conditioned response. So condition response, uh, they affect us every day of our lives. For example, uh, many of the phobias that affect people are condition responses created when a person has a negative experience and pairs it with the fear of the object. For example, after witnessing a terrible car accident, a person might develop the fear of driving. This fear of driving is the condition response. So psychologists distinguish between conditioned and unconditioned responses to study more about classical conditioning, which is a method of learning first studied by a Russian psychologist named Ivan Pavlov. So Pavlov experimented on a dog by presenting it with food and ringing a bell each time the dog smelled the food. And he studied how the dog responded to the bell alone by studying the salivation response of the dog. Now, we'll cover classical conditioning in a separate lesson, but uh, that's a little bit about condition and unconditioned responses. Thank you for listening. Have a good night.